Matt and Andrea blazed back to Ometepe, and Dan and I decided to take a slow ride up the beaches and meet them in Managua to say goodbye to Matt when he flew out. Dan and I found a secluded beach just north of San Juan del Sur, actually a little bit north of Playa Madaris, and made camp there, played in the waves, and found awesome starfish and hermit crabs. We also stopped to hike Messiah Volcano. We did a night tour, which was pretty awesome, just because we saw a snake hanging from the bat cave eating a bat. <laughs> We met a couple European guys on scooters that had dual sport tires on them. So we had to stop and talk to them. They said they'd bought their scooters in Mexico and were riding to Panama or Colombia or however far they made it. They did a lot of trips like this, flying into different places, buying local bikes and riding around until their time was up and they seemed really awesome. We met up with Matt and Andrea uh, at the predetermined hotel and I was confused why her bike wasn't there and why she was limping. <laughs> well, Becky and Dan had camped at the beach. Uh, Matt and I also went back to Ometepe Island and we camped on the beach. And in the morning we were going to ride back what had been a really easy dirt road. Some farmers yeah. must have cut down a giant pile of sugar cane. And uh, it was kind of a narrow little trail and I tried to just ride my bike with some momentum over the sugar cane and epically failed. And I somehow just fell wrong and the bike just landed right on my foot and kind of crushed it. It swelled up a lot and it was purple. So they had to take a bus back they took to a bus. Us. Yeah. We said goodbye to Matt in the morning and then went to the Adiwana office, which the lady was super nice and told us we were on the last day of our grace period, which was probably just because it was the weekend. I think they give you a couple extra days then. She was totally happy to do our paperwork and process the extension, but for reasons unknown to everyone, it takes two days to process. James also came to visit. He rode Alaska with me, if you remember, and he's also an awesome photographer, so we did some fun photo shoots around Omotepe Island with him. There's also these bluebirds all over the island, and I was obsessed with trying to take photos of them because they were really shy on the Moyo Galpa side, and when we went over to the Santa Domingo side, they were really bold. So I would like leave some watermelon out and then get pictures of them like swooping in and like drinking drinks off of people's table. And then one morning I was eating breakfast, watching the horses drinking water on the beach, and one of them just swoops in and steals my entire chunk of fried cheese and just flies off with it. So that's what happens when you feed the wildlife. The bike started overheating. As you might recall, my coolant reserve tank had been smashed wide open and repaired and then smashed again. And it was sucking air into it, getting air into the radiator and not allowing the coolant to flow properly. We pulled the coolant reservoir and I JB welded it and then James helped us get turn the bike on its side and get, get the air bubbles out of the radiator. We ate a lot of delicious food on Omotepe and watched a lot of sunsets and drank a bunch of coconuts on the beach. Just hack them off the trees yourself. Andrea's pro at opening them with her pocket knife. We also rented kayaks and paddled down to Monkey Island. Monkey Island. The monkeys are not friendly there. They're the mad. The monkeys on the island are way nicer. Yeah. Do not dock on Monkey Island. <laughs> yeah, we rolled up on our kayaks. Got vaguely close to the island and they were hanging out off the edges of the trees just freaking out and like screeching <laughs> just angry little monkey faces and monkey mouths very unhappy to, to see us and we went up the Istian river swamps too and saw the little crocodile noses poking out and all the turtles sunning themselves the trees along the sides of the river are fantastic there's a bunch with really orange flowers all over them so it looks like just green and orange everywhere you look a lot of cows just lounging these are not the cows you're looking for. <laughs>